Hey guys, Boxcorns here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Today we are just got enough to go to the League Club Room and get ourselves two areas filled with starters. Now, the two areas I'm going to be getting this time is going to be the Savannah and the Coastal. So, all we gotta do is we go into this League Computer room here, and all at the bomb we have here. So again, we want the Savannah Biome. 3,000 BP. Hmm. I'm Terry from the Terrarium Club. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks to you, we're ready to fine-tune the Terrarium's environmental settings. Yes, using BP that you've done it we'll be able to upgrade the environment to the Savannah Biome. Your Pokemon will be able to live there now, including Wild Charmander. And the other thing we'll be doing is we'll be contributing BP to the coastal bone. There we are. Thank God. There's now what we can use great coastal biome, Grookey. Now all of these I do have, but in these areas there's also Pokemon that we don't have. So we're gonna try and find those ones first. So in the savannah biome, I know you can find Snivy, which is the one, um, which is one of my favorite Gen 5 Poke, uh, starters. It's, it's cool looking. So, let's try and find one. Now, exactly where they will spawn, I have no idea. So, it's gonna be interesting. Unless we will... That's just a swampy area. I think it might be a swampy area. Unless it's just some area for Sobble, in which case I don't need to go Also in this area. Nothing that we need to really. I, f I did hear that it was around... Oh god. Oh. Uh... Sorry, lag is like really... Right, let's go over to this. Ah, here we go. So it's around in this sort of area here. So around these patches right here. So let's go ahead and try and look for ourselves and hope that we find ourselves a sniper. Now what I will go ahead and actually be doing after that, I guess we are also very close to parents thing, so we could go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, so now we are in around the area. As to where we're trying to snipe, so... Oh, there's Snivy on the... on the thing, so let's see if we can find one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. rig. Go away, we don't want it. Oh, there's one. Found one. Let's catch it. Go. Hello, Snivy. Oh goodness me! Right, I really want to catch this in a specific ball, but would a nest ball work? Because a quick ball doesn't. White suit. No idea. Actually, let's run. Because it will stay there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out Miascarada for Smeagol. And we're going to try and catch this Snivy in something. We might as well. 
Hello, Snivy. Alright, so now we're gonna use boss fight. Oh god, that's just a train. That's annoying. Alright, you might need to be put to sleep. Oh, okay, never mind. Then we can't put you to sleep. I wanted to catch it in the friend wall, but... Oh, this is annoying. Cool. Okay, we'll call you down on this guy. Right, so if you're not going to go to sleep, then you're going to have to be paralyzed. I don't know the catch rate with the friend ball, but if it doesn't catch with the friend ball, I'm gonna have to use something else. Damn, this maybe looks cool in 3D. Let's go! Friend ball. Come on, be my friend, Snivy. Damn it, I freaking had a feeling. Uh, don't worry, stab it, stab it, this should be fine. Alright, so now what would really work? I, Dusk ball really wouldn't work. I could try and miss, but it will probably will fail. Oh! No, it didn't! There we go! We got a Snivy. That should now be added to the Pokedex. And there's Snivy's data. Lovely. Right, so now we are going to... Attempt to catch ourselves a Poplio. Because those are the two Pokemon starters that I didn't have and wanted. So I hear the Poplio just lives in the coastal land, coastal area. And it's just in the water. Poplio's right there. Let's see. Mostly in Poplio, but... There could be a number of reasons for that. Oh, there's one. Lovely. Go! Yeah. <laughs> sleep powder. Lovely. So we got we put it to sleep. Low. Nice. Force swipe. Cool. Just one more force swipe. Should be enough. And then we should be able to catch it. Cool. Awesome. If it wakes up, which it didn't, we would have um, put it back to sleep, but the book board that I want to use is this one. Let's see. Does it work? Come on. There we go. Good, we got ourselves a Poplio and a Snivy. There we go. Awesome source, we now have two Pokemon starters that we didn't have access to before in this game, which is great. So, um, now we could obviously evolve some of these, which is great. Um, get some new deck entries. Uh, but before we do, I want to... Oh my god, I want to see. It's a Snivy! Oh my goodness me, it's Snivy, look at him. 
Awesome. Anyway, um, we now have access to whatever Perrin was going to do. So, we're going to fly back to the Savannah Rest Area number one, and we're going to go ahead and head and see what Perrin's got for us. And then I'll end the video there. I'm, I might... You know what, we'll evolve the Pokémon first. We'll evolve the Pokémon. Yeah. We'll evolve our Snivy and our Poplio. Uh, with... Oh, Godness. Before we will heal them. <laughs> There you go. Nice one, Snivy. Anyway, we are going to evolve you guys. Man, Snivy. Oh, Snivy looks cool. I... I think Servine looks okay as well. It's just... Final the form is just a bit... No, but I can't really do much about that though, is the issue. Anyway, Servine's evolving into a lovely... Oh, Scaly. And you are now a snake, apparently, for some reason. And there we go! We now have Snivy's entire line. And now we have Poplio evolving. Ooh, Brion! Oh damn, Brion looks pretty good with those textures. It's like the... The water in this is, is probably like... I mean, we did see Primarina already, but we're still gonna evolve it, because we get that dex, dex entry anyway, so... I mean, you're literally taking a picture of me, uh... Perrin, so you're, you're getting your... You know, your marketable stuff. I love, I love that cry, it's just... It's unique. I mean, I guess it's a Siren sort of... Siren-type Pokémon, so... There we go. Primarina wants to learn Sparkling Aura. Definitely. Uh, instead of Misty Terrain. And there we go. We now have... Our lovely Starter Pokemon. Which we can now do that with. And there we go. Awesome. So now we can talk to Perrin and we can deal with all this stuff. So let's go. Hello Perrin. Don't tell me. You already got yourself 200 Pokemon from the very Impressive. Uh, it was hard work. Yeah, because I had to go ahead and get all the, the, the BP. Well, look at you putting all that effort. I've seen that in the kid. You probably know more about the Pokemon in terrain than I do. I got here first. I guess you earned yourself that hot tip. Take a look at these photos, would you? Oh, what's that? Oh! See this strange Pokemon? The first one's called Gouging Fire and the other one's called Raging Bolt. Totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'll be huge. Apparently, these places are in Paldea. You have any idea where? Yes, I do have an idea. Wow, they're f are they famous spots? I want to visit them. Of course, you know how it is these days, right? These photos could totally be fakes. But if you want to know for sure, maybe you could search these Pokemon out. I can show you the photos of the game anytime you like. Just give me a shot. I find. It's me something good, Charles. I've got some face in your survey skills. So, we now have the tip of where these things are, and it we, looks like we may need to go to Area Zero. That's right. We need to go to Area Zero, guys. I don't know where, but if, we, if we're going based on where they were in the photos, um then we should find them, right? We should be able to find them. Right. Hello, great crater of Paldea. This has been... Station 1. 
And over we go. Ah, uh, here it is. I love, I love the fucking, I love the music in here. It's awesome. Just out trying to find these Pokemon. It's going to be a, a tricky one, but if we can get them, catch them. Oh, here we go. Can we actually? Yes, we can. We can fly. Oh, lovely. Right, so I saw. I think it was gouging fire. Was around one of these guys right here. So actually, worst case scenario, I could just look the, up the pictures. Right. Let me. Uh, okay. Moon. Scarlet. Okay, yeah, so I was right, so... Oh, sorry. So... Oh, it's by here, okay, right. So around this area we should be able to find... Um... Damn, we are going really far up, actually. But around this area, we should be able to find Gaudium Fire. <gasps> there he is! Ooh! Awesome! Now, I need to make sure I have a team that knows what they're doing. As in, I'm gonna need my Smeagol back. Uh, please say I healed him up. Okay, he is healed. Cool. So this is... Uh, gouging fire. Here he is. There's the Entei, I guess. Uh, let's terrestrialize while we use Force Swipe because we don't want to. Awesome, and we'll and then we'll find out about uh, Raging Bolt, which is the Riker one. There's Dragon Rush. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. All swipe, go. Oh god, like, this is not going to go well. Um, can we use Sleep Powder? No, it's going to use on us. Damn it. I guess we could paralyze. That, that, I forgot to use the quick ball, but it's fine. It is an in, that's an interesting design. I got a minute though. Alright, let's uh, Thunder Wave. So now, right, so now you're going to be paralyzed for a bit. That's good. Now we're gonna go and max revive our Smeagol. Okay. Awesome. My fight is 60 power. Let's see how much this is gonna do. Okay, it's not gonna do that much. That's good. If we use bite like one more time, I think we should be able to try Pokeballs with. Burning ball. Oh, it protects itself. Oh, damn. That's a new protect. 
Oh, when it burns you. Oh, I, I had a feeling it was gonna burn me if I attacked it. Damn. I'm still gonna attack it again, but like, damn. See, so the thing is, I want a safe switch in, but my switch can move. Right. Uh, let's try an Ultra Ball. Nope, didn't quite catch. There's the Fire Blast. That's fine. Uh, let's try a... Do we try a Dust Ball? Okay, we'll, we'll, tr we'll, try, we'll try a Premier Ball. Get you into the ball. Ooh, that's so close. That was so close. I actually would love it to be in a Premier Ball. I could keep trying the Premier Ball, actually. Because I don't want to... Oh, yeah, okay. There's the Dragon Rush, lovely. Lucky Dragon Rush doesn't do recoil damage. Because that would be very uh, unfortunate. Probably should have saved in front of it, not gonna lie, but yeah. Or swipe. Nice. There's a Fire Blast. Okay, one more false swipe should do enough. Where we will be able to catch it. Alright, okay, so now we're gonna have Charizard come out. Or Blaze come in. Alright. Now let's attempt the captures. Dang. Okay, this is now going to be our attempts. Jesus Christ, this one is not. But it failed. <laughs> I guess we could try the Ultra Ball. Nope, not even, not even a shake. Yeah, the catch rates for these usually are pretty. Uh, Let's go! We caught ourselves gouging fire. Nice. That's one of two uh, new Pokemon. And center box. And there we go. We now have gouging fire. So now the, the next Pokemon, Raging Bolt, is located. Located, I think, by that cave. So I think I know where he is. Apparently it's right around here, but I'm not too sure. Oh, I see. It. You'll fall all the way down. I don't know where I don't know where I'm at now. Let's go! So, we're now going to try and catch Raging Bolt. We're going to try the Quick Ball first turn, but... Uh, going to need to revise some of my team members before we even attempt to catch it, so... So apparently it's over here. So we'll fall all the way down. Oh, there he is! Why, hello, Raging Bolt. Very 
Nice of you to join us. Right, let's uh, revive. With you. Source. Right, now we can attempt to do this. Right. Before we do anything, let's uh, put down a save. Just in case anything happens. Right. This one we're gonna probably have to. You know. Quick ball go. Let's go. First time capture we go breaking ball with a quick ball. That's good. Ooh. That was less uh, annoying than the other one. Didn't even see any of your moves, Raging Ball. Bam. And there we go. We now have all of the Pokemon we can essentially catch, I believe, other than the starters, uh, in this game. So we have Gouging Fire. And now we just need, uh, we just need the two future paradoxes, which are located only in, uh, in, um, Violet. Also, apparently if you go here, something happens. I don't know what happens, but apparently something happens when we go here. I don't know what happens, but apparently something does. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah. Also, you can now hear... But apparently we have to have, I think, Terrapagos in our team. Let me just make sure we got Terrapagos in our team. So let's go to... This is now on our team. We should now be able to go. I believe it's around here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Tarapagos. What's happening? <gasps> is that Sada? Well now, is this a curious development? Have I somehow broken through the boundaries of space-time? And who are you? Professor? Have we met? If so, I'm sorry, but I don't seem to recall it. I am Professor Sada. I researched Pokemon in Era Zero and yet... What? This Pokemon, this is... Is this the Winged King? We call it Coridon. Is that right? So it, its name is Coridon? Hmm, that's a good name. From the clues you've already let slip, I suppose I w would have to conclude. From your perspective, I must have come from the past. So of course, the complexity of space-time would be on to count. It's possible that our encounter may not even be occurring in a timeline connected to my own. Perhaps this mean is nothing more than a fleeting miracle. Why don't we exchange as much useful data as we can in what we little time we have that fate has gifted us? Oh. Is there anything you would like to ask me? What are you studying? I'm researching methods to catch Pokemon that live in different timelines, so I might transport them to the present day in my own timeline. Sounds fantastical, no doubt, but I am draft plans now for a machine that may achieve it. You see, this book captured my imagination when I read it as a child and has never let it go. But progress has been slow, beset by fate failures. I haven't left my lab in quite some time now. I desperately hope that I may glean some new insight from this conversation, so can I finally make some progress on returning home? Is there anything else you wish to ask me? I don't precisely know the cause. I was analyzing some recent data in my secret lab one moment, and the next I was standing here before you. Perhaps this is the influence of the crystal Pokemon that lies dormant in that place. 
Or perhaps because it lies with you and... Because lies with you and I. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? You wish to know about my private life? I do have a family, a son. He's probably at home right now. Well, no, I suppose right now he could be. I could be an accurate. Whenever, whatever he is, I imagine he must be quite lonely. Now, let us trace places in this age. I'll, I'll tell you some, the time has come for my own questions. What is this place? It doesn't appear to be anywhere in Pordea. This is the land of Kitakami. So we're at Kitakami's Crystal Pool, huh? I remember reading about it in a certain text. It's said to be a place where water wells up from the ground imbued with terrestrial energy. It would seem that we have been shifted quite far in both space and time. My next question is then, that Pokemon you have, the one you can, uh, I mean, cry on, tell me more about it. It's a precious part to me. Yes. Well, your personal attachment to the creature has no meaningful relevance to it. Ah, oh, forgive me, perhaps that was rude. Hmm, that book you have there. I don't recognize its cover, what is it? The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Do you let me see it, just for a moment? Descriptions of Area Zero Underdepths in the ro Record of Terrapagos Awakening. Who is this Brian? to have written such a work. She's a descendant of Heath. Now isn't that something, a descendant of the author of the original Star Wars Gollop book. Exploration runs the family, I guess, see. At any rate, that that is a book that would ignite the imagination of any true scientist. I'm sorry, but I think we must have the time to read this book more thoroughly. Oh, the missus closing in once again. I assume that means our time is nearing its end. I wish I could spend longer getting to know the Winged King, but I must hurry. That book I imagine must, must, must be quite valuable. I w it wouldn't feel right for me to claim it without offering you any recompensation. In exchange, then, though I hate to part with it, something so precious to me. Would you consider trading me for that book? Oh, the copy of the s oh. I obtained the Scarlet Book. I appreciate this more than you can imagine. Perhaps I have to take this chance to go home and enjoy a bit of downtime with a good book. This is where we part, fellow adventurer and winged king. How lucky we were to meet across space and time. I bid you adieu. So I think that was. Oh. Oh, what's that ride on? Oh. What's that ride on doing? I want to. Okay. That was interesting. Oh, we're now saving. Oh, we now have different. That's interesting. Oh, we're back. Ooh, the stuff at the school again. Okay, let's let's see what we gotta do. There's some stuff at the school, why not? But da 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 Okay, that was Terrapagus. Doing all that, but yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move these two over to this box here because they have uh, some significance. Actually, we'll keep that there. Okay, so apparently there is two people here wishing to. Is it... Gakum? Oh, oh my goodness, yo Charles, yo I haven't recognized you. Academy, huh? 
For sure, we're not the same grade as Charles either, so it's lucky we bumped into him. Is that what I think it is? Is that Harry? You're doing alright, pal. I'm not sure what to make of that dumbfounded look you got going on there. I feel like I know you. Hmm. Gaikamo is kind of easy to point out, but... Oh, that's right, I forgot we're not wearing our usual outfits today. I know they mentioned I guess this is the first time we've seen us looking all proper in our academy uniforms, huh? Yeesh, now I feel awkward about it. But hey, let's clear things up. It's me, Gakumo, or DJ Vice when you catch me at the dust deck. I, that airy looks... Oh my goodness. Diff way different. <laughs> She's like a different person without her face paint on. But I'm sure that was obvious. Not to me, but... You know. We came in today to take some makeup tests. I figured it was about time we start clawing back up all that learning we missed out on while we were holed up in our bases. Our team star outfits are all practical for tests and things, so we came in our, our new school uniforms today. Hey, you think Charles can help us out with our ongoing stitch? Stitch. Hey, that's right, great idea. Can I help with something? We've got a little proposal for you. How'd you like to be a tutor? Jeez, one step at a time. Maybe we should start explaining what's going on. Oops, sorry. No. So, uh, okay, basically the other team's not on the fourth time of it. Remember Melly, Orti, and Articus, right? Those three, yep. They've been taking makeup tests like us, but they're showing sure passing. We might actually have to repeat the year, which would suck out after all the effort they put in to come back to school. Before you ask me, Neri, have tried to join them ourselves. But it didn't go well at all. Nope, you know, seriously, I didn't... I seriously didn't think those three had to such a hard time. I mean, for me, it feels like all you need to do is pass tests is learn formulas and memorize stuff. I guess I can't wrap my head around what it is they can't wrap their heads around. And I'm only good at teaching people if this to do with sports or exercise. We heard from Penny that your grades are pretty decent. I bet even Ortega and the others would put, put their ears up if you dropped by to teach them. Which loops us right back to my opening we think. Think you could help to us for us? Yeah, I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much, Charles. You really are the best. Oops, I almost forgot. We gotta keep this under wraps, okay? No telling Penny. We've stressed her out enough for one lifetime. There's no way we can bother her with this. It'll be our little secret, okay? We'll be right here, so come and let us know when, when you're ready to start. Okay, so I'm guessing we're... Oh, set to two of the other bosses? Yes, we are. Let's go. Here's my ears. Let's go down to a killer sash. Cool, killer sash. I guess that's what he said. Oh my goodness. Those two... Sup, stud... Kang, studying hard, I hope. Oh, this is Ortega. Well, Ortega's kind of... Articus is a bit weird, because he usually has uh, a mask on, doesn't he? So, well, we were before you and your big mouth showed up. Here to check what we're not, that we're not slacking off with you. Pretty much, your eyes are starting to glaze over for a second, and I'm out the door. Tell me I'm wrong. Hi, Lady Airy, clad in an academy uniform. I feel my eyes sharpen and my mind focus each time this vision returns to glory. me. If only if that focus were helpful for your studies, Erica. Sorry, I keep distracting you. Oh, what's this? My ninja senses detect the presence of another behind the lady area. Come, step forward, knave that we might see that thigh face. It's me! <laughs> Remember the one that took down in your star bases? <laughs> you, what the- no, 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 why is this happening? I should have surmised as much. The strength of thine spirit precedes thee as ever, good fellow. Never mind that guy, Kimo. Explain what's Charles doing here. Hey now, be nice. Charles, wait. No, Professor Charles is gonna be Tudor. Oh, glad tidings name truly if I hear it. He's gonna be what since when? You can't just go stomping around deciding stuff like this without asking anyone. 
And you, we don't need a tutor. Do us a favor and toddle on home, would you? Hey, Orty. Oh, God. Charles kindly agreed to come here and help us out. So talking to him in that kind of attitude... ...is unacceptable, right? Okay. Yeah, no, totally. I'm sorry, I mean, Sorry, who? Um, what I meant to sorry, Charles. Uh, Lady Area is in a menacing <laughs> mood, what a vision. <laughs> Bloody hell. Hey, don't worry about Ortega, he just doesn't want to want you to see him floundering. Hey guys, have, we seem to have lost Melly, where did she go? Lady Melly declared her wish to stretch her legs minutes before your arrival. She departed rather suddenly and has not returned since. Well, we all know Melly. She just wandered off because she didn't feel like studying. I hate to say it, but I guess that's probably true. Sorry about this, Charles, but you think you can go find Mella for us? She'll be somewhere in the Academy for sure. We'll stay on standby here and get everything prepped for our killer study sesh. Sorry to keep relying on you like this. I hope you find Mella without much trouble. Right. Okay. Now, well, where can we go to find... Uh... Well, there's... Uh, I guess the schoolyard, I guess. <laughs> it tells us. Somewhere in the schoolyard. Where could she be? I'm assuming so. Because of the red hair. Oh, oh, hey. Shh, that's not her, come on. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say Mellow, so you just come on. Se Seriously, you have eyes on you. Obviously, it's Mellow, you're talking. Your hair is completely different, and you. I don't know, you just look way different to me. Guess I'm not decked out in my usual gear today. Yeah, we made a big fuss about wearing your uniforms to the study group thing. So, yeah. It's not like I have much of a choice. What are you doing here anyway? I came to raid your base. I've <laughs> been looking for you. Well, what's the occasion? You reaching for another showdown or something? No. Oh, okay, you came up up here to bring me back to the classroom, huh? Guess time got away from me while I was admiring the veggies. Might as well get going then. Oh, okay, shadows have that stride, so... Probably because he kept wearing those big-ass boots. Alright, what's up, amigos? Millie, welcome back. And Charles, thanks so much for finding me. So, where were you lazing around this time? Uh, you know, here now. Lady Mello, is, is something a miss? Now, we're all good, right? The Dream Study Team is all here. What? That's what counts. Time's wasting, so let's say, let's... So I say, let's hit the books. Take it away, Professor Charles. These three are counting on you. Oh, what do I do now? Uh, uh do I... What do I do? <laughs> okay, uh, do I just... Okay. What do I do? Go, how am I supposed to know this? I don't get it. I don't think... I don't think I didn't see you on your smoke face over over there. You've got some nerve. I realize the second you're... an entire year above you. Oh, I guess I to let you help, so fine. You can try to teach me or whatever. But I'll be shocked if you can get this literature stuff to sink in. I mean, how am I supposed to know how some made-up characters in a story are feeling? See, the protagonist in the book is a mom... in a mousehold family. Her name is Mama Mousehold. We're supposed to analyze why she calls Papa Mousehold terrible in this passage. Mouse, Mama Mousehold's eyes glittering with tears. It was clear from the letter, from the letter Papa Mousehold had left, she would never get to see him again. Toying with my feelings right to the end, you were a really terrible thing. She must actually love him a lot. 
So she calls him terrible, but actually loves him? Why doesn't she just say that then? There's no way of... That's the right answer. You sure about that, my man? I have a lot of you people... People that would relate. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, only that you can do the exact same thing with your wife. You're always snapping at him and being difficult, but you actually do respect him a ton, don't you? What? You must be joking. There's no universe in which I respect this elf even a little. Nah, no way. Nope. Okay, I guess some people are tempted to say the opposite of what they mean sometimes. Hmm. The question makes more sense to me now, but just a tiny bit. Thanks for being utterly useless. Okay. Is, is Articus... What I know... What I know is that I know not. I have fathom... Ah, noble sensei. Comest thou prof... for me a helping hand? My deepest thanks. Mathematics is... The scourge of my existence, but well, I am actually really good at maths, fun fact. Anyway, in the particular arithmetic, it is an unsolvable mystery. But since my true calling lies in garment design, I feel I need not to concern myself with numbers. They have naught to do with fashion, after all. No, you all need numbers. I think you all need numbers. Hmm. Skill in mathematics will be still be of service to me, you see? I do not quite follow. I think I know Charles's game now. It's like with our team star office, remember? We ended up spending a lot of money on them. As indeed we should. One must not shy away from expense when creating objects of great quality. But we had realms of fabric left over after the outfits were made. Anything we could have saved more money there? I cannot deny it. It is a fair point. Now I think of it, these garments, dimensions, and cost of material demand calculation. And if selling one's creations, profit margins too come into play. A designer who pays heed to such figures and sums would surely prove superior artisan. To what seem my thinking was naive. I had turned mine eyes from an inconvenient truth. And besides it, my eyes changed, my mind made up from now on. I will devote myself to the study of mathematics. Hiya! Sorry to kinda of butt in on your tutoring just now. I'm glad it all worked out though. Thanks to you, Article seems really inspired to study. He is the type to get totally absorbed once he's fired up, so I'm sure he'll be just fine. Alright, how's Mella doing? And this is hard. Oh, what are you looking at? Oh yeah, you're two us now, aren't you? Oh, I didn't. I was just doing some practice questions here. Let me know if you think this one's true or false. You can get a new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or trading with other people. By catching them yourself or trading with other trainers. Well, trading would, would imply that you would have a Pokemon to trade with, so... Uh... So, so you can get a new Pokemon by catching them, right? But technically you can get gifted a Pokemon, so I guess that's false? I would say that's false. Yeah, that's true as well. I thought too. Can't go forgetting about Pokemon you hatch from eggs. There you go. That's another thing as well. I didn't even think about that one, but that's also another one. Okay, next one. What's the name of the gemstone that glows over a Pokemon's head when it terrestrializes? Is it? It's not a Terra Stone or Rock. I think it's a Terra Jewel. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Guess it makes sense you know about this. Since you have your own Terra Orb. Either way, terrestrializing is pretty awesome, don't you think? Only outside and students get to have a terror war themselves, though. Okay, next one. This... I'll have to do the test, but... I wanna ask you something. I don't know how to put it. This is a trick one. I promise not to laugh, okay? So, uh, how important do you think dreams are? Like our future goals? Oh, you can actually laugh. That's a bit mean. Exactly. I'm talking about the future. What? We don't wanna be when we order that kind of stuff. Got no idea about all that right now. Meanwhile, most of the team starts in that they got it figured out. They've got a proper dreams. Even the veggies in the school lot are doing their best to grow, you know? I wish I had that kind of direction. I'm more happy if I never figure out what if I never find a dream to chase. Well, so I guess scared just thinking about it. You'll find a dream someday. You're a hopeless optimist, you know that? But I guess, yeah, fr panicking about it won't help. Thanks for the public lesson. I've heard enough. Let me get back to the study, alright, would you? I didn't bust my butt coming back to school just to get kicked out. You continue to teach Team Star for a while. 
All right, again, I said it would be time, time to queue our outro and wrap up today's study sesh. Yes, great effort all around. Does everyone feel like they made progress today? Totally, I spread through my practice questions like a champ. Yes, Charles wasn't the world's worst tutor. Well, I learned my arithmetic and can be enthralled when engaging with an earnest. Thanks to our esteemed tutor, I feel enlivened as a revenue drenched in poison. I don't know, I managed to cram the makeup test topics in my brain, but that's about it. Hmm. Looks like we had some mixed results, but we should be okay for the makeup test at least. Charles, I'm really kind of you to help us out. We prepared a little thank you gift from all of us, so here you go. A pair of wise glasses. You obtained the modified uniform A, B, Team Star sunglasses, gloves, heels, helmet, and case. Let's do the Team Star pose together too. Here, I'll teach you how to do it. We get to do the house of Vista. Oh my goodness, that's great. And Penny, of I had a feeling. What well, guys? What are you all doing here? Oh, Penny, off. Oh, you busted. <laughs> um, I was walking down the hall and saw you all in here. But that's fine. No one asked me to join, so I should leave, shouldn't I? Sorry about that. See you later. Wait, Lady Penny. Wait, I was gonna say, it's not what you think, Penny. Here is that. So what happened was, I'm um, gonna tell us, tell her everything that happened. <clears throat> Here, I thought you all decided not to talk to me anymore. We would never. That's what it must have looked like, though, huh? Sorry, we made you worry. We didn't want to drag you into another one of our messes. Our bad, Penny. Well, apology not accepted. Wait, for real? Why'd you guys decide that I'd just be weighed down by your problems? I'm your friend, right? So you should come to... Come bother with... Bother me more. Lean on me. That's what would actually make me happy. Oh, Lady Penny. And if things get really bad, I can just hack into the school system and fix your grades anyway. What? That's a terrible idea. Yeah, isn't that taking it a bit far? Sorry, that was a joke. I was trying to lighten up things up in here, but I guess I, that was pretty out of character. I had to hear if you were serious, I would have pummeled some sense into you. But about before, I'm actually pretty good tutor, you know? So feel free to ask me to help with studying and stuff any time. Lady Penny, well, I'll be honoured by your thy generosity. Yeah, it doesn't mean we got... Does that mean we got to get lectured by Charles and Penny now? Well, I guess so. Th things are the worst. <laughs> Careful, me man. That was dangerously close to, straight, to a straight-up compliment. You can just you can just come out and say that you like the idea. We all know what you're thinking. Indeed, I think... I need not even use my ninja senses so childly is apparent to thy true feelings. What? As if I know what as if you know what's in my head. Guys having the first clue of happening. Try getting to me back before sprouting nonsense, huh? You're all the worst. <laughs> hey guys, I think we broke Ortega. <laughs> uh, that was a funny little thing. Or a fun little thing I should say. That's it. Um, I mean, we got new uniforms. I guess that's cool. I wonder what they look like. Oh, yeah, we literally have the same star stuff. Okay. Literally. Um. Oh, team star heels. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, Team Star Gloves. Oh damn, we have the Team Star Helmet and Glasses. Oh, that is cool. Anyway, awesome. So that was uh, that, I guess. Awesome.
I guess now we can show Perrin the um the area. Or oh, not the area, the, the Pokemon that we caught. And then we'll end the video off here. because uh, I got a few things that I need to do. So this will probably be the last video I do for the moment. But uh yeah. Hello Perrin. What shows? A Pokemon is another Pokemon from the picture. That's a real life Golgi with fire, just look at the shape of its head. There are rumors that say this fellow can make magma erupt from the ground just by roaring. Huh, if that was true, then this thing would be a really fearful from threat to the face. Well, let me just snap a couple of photos here. This can mean the other Pokemon I showed you is real too. Report back to me if you find it, okay? Well, we already have it, so it's fine. What shows that Pokemon? Isn't that Pokemon as a picture? A real raging bolt? The neck. Boy, that neck is almost too much to fit one frame. From how this fellow can cover the whole sky with dark clouds and put lightning crushing down just by swinging the lock neck around. If that was true, then this thing would be a real fearsome threat to the face. Now let me just snap a couple of photos. Wait, actually when I found them both. I can't even be surprised, it's just like you. Between you and me, I'm having a hard time focusing on my own work. I couldn't keep my mind off the photos. You saved me. I know I didn't promise any rewards or anything, but I th think I thank you for putting the mystery to rest. Here you go. This prize is a real catch. A sport ball. Ooh, now that. A special Pokeball that was used during the bug catching contest in the Johto region. It's wild how such how much mystery is left in the world, isn't it? When you're a kid, you can just run wholeheartedly wherever you want. But it's not so easy when you get older. You keep running, Charles. Find the unknown Pokémon. Have great adventures. Do it for me. And I think I better get back to work. That's awesome. Can we talk to him? I'm guessing we can. I'm just say hi to me all the, all the time. Remember the cute crowd of love too. I think he remembers your scent. He seems to really like you. Hello, it's Sui and Garlith. Okay. Awesome. So, um, there might be more starters that we could probably find. Let me try and see if we can find any more. So, uh Let's see if there's any. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly... Okay, so Bulbasaur is in the... Okay. Oh, there is Charmander. Whoa, what the hell? That is a lot of Charmanders. Holy... Gentle, hazy, sorry, there's a lot of them. Alright, so... Apparently, according to uh, Austin John, but also some other sources, of course, because I will see. Um, you know, but apparently, if we go to the coastal area and around this sort of area, we should be able to find ourselves 
what was wrong. Actually, I just realized, why don't I just go to the Pokedex? Like, there's a Pokedex for a reason, right? So let's see. Uh, Bulbasaur, no, that's really sure. Bulbasaur, right. So it's around, um, this area, right? So, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna just... Oh! Was that one of them? Oh, it's a Grookey! <laughs> Hello, Grookey! Um, that's awesome. So, up, up we go, and we'll go ahead and try and find ourselves a Bulbasaur. Oh, hello! Alright, there we go. We now call it Bulbasaur. So that's cool. And there we go, we now have Bulbasaur. Uh, so now we can go back to the Pokedex, and we can... Squirtle is in the canyon area, which we don't have. So... Totodile is in the s swamp looking areas, it looks like. Of the savannah biome. So... So sort of these sort of areas here. That's good, we can now get ourselves a Totodile, which is awesome. That's two of the Gen 2 Pokemon. Um, and two of the Gen 1 Pokemon. So, that's awesome. Uh, we'll try our best to get... ourselves these Pokemon, so we can now... And there we go, Totodile, right there. There's a Zip Striker. Oh, it's a bloody... Whoa! Is he actually only in the water? There's an electric again, so... Alright, what, what other Pokemon do we need to go for? So I'll see there's Totodile. Uh... Torchic? Is in the ice area. Mudkip is actually in the that biome there. Yeah. That's great. Tepig is all the way over in the canyon biome. And Litten is also in the canyon biome. So. Crown, and that is the other one. Now, of course, we got Walking Wake, which is right over here. So, overall, it seems we can catch probably about maybe one or two more Pokemon. I think Mudkip and Totodile. There's a Snivy. Oh, that's a rough look right there. So, I'm now wondering if it's just in the water? Because I'm not really seeing, um, Totodile. Although Totodile, it, it is saying in the minimap that there's a Totodile nearby.
I'm just gonna kill this pistol weapon. There's one. Let's go. Ooh, I definitely want this one in the uh, dive ball. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna catch. So let me just run real quick. Cause that turtle is gonna stay there. Um, all I just need is my Samiragal. There we go. And then we can just deal with it. Let's go! Totodile was caught. Yes. Okay, so now there's Mudkip in this sort of area up here. Of the coastal area. So... We're gonna go there, get ourselves a mudkip, and then move on by probably just not really doing anything else. Um, there's horses, but so far nothing else. I'm not seeing mud caps. Now we're back here. Now we're this big pool. I am pretty sure it says there's a mudkip around here. Well, not that there is a mudkip, but like, mudkip spawns around this area. Ah, oh. oh, right, yeah. So it's, it's in this big pool. Just right here. Awesome. Okay, yes, it's not appearing on the map, but that's not necessarily going to be a spawn. No Torko. Yeah, because Torko is also not on the map. And anyway, it's just right there, so... If I go in the water, maybe? Or... No. There is just the place above this, which is like down here. Oh. 
All right, up we go. So far, so good. Yeah. Alright, let's just quickly evolve the Pokemon we got right this second. Bob Whistle and Totodile. Oh, that's a new design. A little bit. Oh my goodness me, that is... <laughs> oh god, that's a different design. I had to, oh god. That is a different design than I was expecting. Holy. Uh, my goodness, that, that was interesting. Now, Totodile, you're evolving. Alright. Mm. Oh, Ooh, look at Croconaw. That's awesome looking. And then we've got one more after this being Flower Valligator. And here we are. Got it. Got it. Ah, look at for alligator. Looks awesome. And there we go, we now have Venusaur and for Alligator. We now just need Mudkip. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. There was a picture. Maybe there's a picture towards the store. Let's see. Unless it was a different video I was looking at. Let me try. Yes, yes, thank you. Ah, here we go. So. Okay, so Chikorita. Sobble, Fennekin, Rowlet, uh, Grookey. Okay, so there's actually two we can get. So, let's, um, let's attempt to find this Mudkip, because I've been unable to find this Mudkip yet. Um,. I guess I could attempt the Chikorita, which apparently is over in this part by here. So let's go ahead 
And we'll try the Chocolita first, then we'll try... Um, then we'll try Mudkip again. So let's go. Up we go. So we're gonna go onto this hill right around here and see if we can find ourselves a Chocolita. Okay, so far, no. Nothing. Um, getting very unlucky with these Pokemon here. There's Vileplume and a bunch of Gloom. What is in this area? Oh. No. Blizzard. Oh, Poplio is in the, in the water. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so we're still not finding Chikorita. But again, apparently it's around this sort of general area. And I'm seeing a lot of oh. Picky Pack is so tiny, my goodness. That was like most of the birds actually. Furoki. So I found you got Froki around here, but not Chikorita. Which is a bit weird, but... Okay, maybe we'll try a little bit more of this. I'm not finding a single trick over to here. I'll try this section here, but I don't think we. I don't think it's around it really here. Unless it is, and then I've been just stupid. <laughs> trick over Oh, okay, right. So I was looking roughly around the wrong area. Oh, around here in general. We should come out. A bunch of two cannons. So. so, according to this, it's about, about around this bridge here. I don't see it anymore. Yeah. I thought I was a chick and that's a dealing all. Oh. Okay, yeah, so Chikorita spawns in this area.
If we can't find the Checo Rita, what I'll do is I'll just end the video here. Um, actually, yeah, we'll just end the video here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please box it would be appreciated. And here, why not subscribe for some more uh, Indigo Disc? I don't know if there's going to be any more. It looking like this might be the end, but if you guys want to see me catch the legendaries, then I might, I might do that. But uh, without further ado, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, happy gaming. Come on. You totally did.